In the world of sailing, there are projects that push the boundaries of technology, design, and human endurance. But few have been as ambitious, extreme, and tragic as Team Phillips, a catamaran designed to break all records and conquer the oceans, but which ultimately became a legend of what could have been. The story of Team Phillips begins with one man, Pete Goss, a British sailor with a bold dream to design the fastest, most revolutionary boat to compete in the race, an unrestricted round-the-world regatta. Together with a team of engineers and visionaries, Goss envisioned a boat that looked like something out of science fiction, a 120-foot-long, 70-foot-wide catamaran with twin masts, one on each hull. The most radical innovation was its 40-foot unsupported bows, designed to cut through waves rather than ride over them. It was more of a floating spaceship than a conventional yacht. Team Phillips broke all the rules of naval design. Its key features included 40-foot unsupported bows designed to cut through waves rather than be battered by them, two giant 130-foot masts mounted side by side, inspired by windsurfing rigs, an ultra-light carbon fiber structure closer to aerospace engineering than traditional boat building. It was a technological marvel, but also an unprecedented experiment. And like all experiments, it was not without problems. In March 2000, during one of its first sea trials, the forward section of its port hull snapped in two. A miscalculation in the composite material meant the structure could not withstand the expected stress. The hull was reinforced, but the problems continued. The innovative mast bearings also failed and required additional repairs. Despite everything, Team Phillips was ready for the ultimate test, sailing to Barcelona for the start of the race. December 2000. In the middle of the North Atlantic, Pete Goss and his crew faced a massive storm. Winds of 70 knots, 130 kilometers per hour, and 10-meter waves put the catamaran to the test. Despite its cutting-edge design, the structure began to give way. Cracks appeared in the central safety pod, the only secure refuge for the crew. At that moment, Pete Goss made the toughest decision to abandon ship. Sending out a distress signal, he and his crew were rescued by a Danish vessel. Days later, Team Phillips succumbed to the ocean, disappearing beneath the Atlantic waves. Pete Goss's dream ended at the bottom of the ocean, but his legacy lives on. Forty feet of the starboard hull were recovered near Iceland, and today they are displayed at the National Maritime Museum in Cornwall. Team Phillips proved that extreme innovation comes with extreme risks. Although it never competed in the race, its story continues to inspire sailors, engineers, and dreamers around the world. The story of Team Phillips is a reminder that the greatest achievements often arise from failure. What do you think of this project? Do you believe we will one day see a boat with a similar design succeed on the oceans? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more epic stories from the world of sailing.